Okay, we are live. Hello, hello, hello world. Okay. Blessings, everyone. Greetings to you, one and all. Um, we are excited about tonight. HBIU TV broadcast. Amen. Can you turn your phone down, please? Okay. Let's start out with a bit, a little bit of worship while we wait for the feed to build up. I can't go. How is everyone doing? That's we are super excited about what the Lord is doing. I can't even do what we're doing. What are you talking about? Oh, 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 oh. Please join the, the feed. Please tag, share, and invite others to join us tonight. We have a great show for you right here at HBIU TV. Please, we're going to talk about theology. Yay! Come rest on us. Come rest on us one more time. Come on, please share the broadcast. Please share the broadcast. Christian education is very important, especially in this day and age. Come rest on us. Come rest on us. Spirit, when you move, you make my heart bow. When you feel the room, you're here and I know you're moving. I'm here and I know you're feeling me. Calm down. Spirit, when you move, you make my heart bow. When you feel the room, you're here and I know you're moving. I'm here and I know you feel me. God bless you. Thank you all for joining. Please share the feed. I know you feel me. Yeah. Fire and wind, come, come and do, do it again. Open up the gates, let the heaven rush. Thank you all for joining. God bless you. We need you to rest on us. Fire and wind, come and do it again. Open up the gates, let heaven rush in. Come and rest on us. Come and rest on us. Calm down. Spirit, when you move, you make my heart bound. When you feel the room, you're here and I know you're moving. I'm here and I know you feel me. Calm down. Spirit, when you move, you make my heart bound. When you feel the room, you're here and I know you're moving. I'm here Thank you all for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Blessings, Dr. Arlene. God bless you. I know. So appreciate you. God bless you all. Thank you again for joining us on HBI TV, HBIU TV. 
where it is all about you. Did you hear what I said? It is all Amen. about Amen. you and the plans that God has for your life. We want you to know that you're important, that you're special, that God has a great plan in store for your life. And we're here to celebrate you. We're here to make sure that you achieve all that God has in store for you. Well, without any delay, tonight we're going to be talking about theology, especially our bachelors um, of arts in theology with none other than our very own, none other than our very own Dr. David Hughes. He's also known as Professor Hughes. I mean, I'm telling you, this man of God is woo, one of a kind. Listen, if you want to be um, grounded in your faith, if you want to really, you know, when the word talk about, you know, to study, to show thyself approved, a workman needed not to be ashamed, but one who can rightly divide the word of truth, you need to be in his class. You need to be in one of his lectures because I'm telling you, you're going to be grounded in your faith. I want to introduce to you all tonight, none other than our very own Dr. David Hughes. Would you please tell us a little bit about yourself, man of God? Amen, amen. Good night, good night, good night. So happy to be here. Uh, it's a blessing and an honor um, to uh, be on this live broadcast with you, Chancellor of the HBIU. Um, God blessings upon your life and for the whole entire staff that is affiliated, whether locally or internationally in behalf of the university. Uh, my name is Bishop Dr. David W. Hughes Sr. Um, I'm one of the professors here in the theological department. I'm also the dean over the ministerial sec um, certificate program uh, where we deal with um, a little bit more than the basics uh, when it comes down to Christian education. You've already heard the chancellor says that it is important for us to be able to have a well-rounded and grounded um, knowledge of the word of God, you know, and, and we need to be equipped. Sure enough, the Bible says that we are to study, uh, to sh show ourselves approved unto God, you know, and, and I think that when you really start to put that in the right contents and you start realizing that even in your personal study time, just take a look at who's grading your paper, God mm -hmm. is not man, because he said to study to show yourself approved unto God. Mm -hmm. So now you got to ask yourself, what type of passing grade do I want to have uh, okay. from him? You understand? Oh, if, he, if he's all knowing and he's everything, how can I uh, get to the place in God where I will hear these words, well done, thou good and faithful servant. So we understand that it's much more than just your everyday life. The knowledge of his word is also important. Here's one of the biggest and most important text that you would hear as you come through the uh, whether the uh, certificate program or in this case the bachelorate of theology, one of the passages of scripture that you will make sure that you are familiar with it says, "My people are destroyed for the lack mm. of knowledge." Here's wow. what that means in its simplicity: it means that my people are destroyed because they don't know. You understand? Mm -hmm. So the more you know, the stronger your spiritual life will be, the more opulent your faith walk in God will be, and the more rooted and grounded you will become as an individual. And so I just want you to uh, understand that here's where we are. These are some of the theological uh, uh, programs that we will be offering during the course of for the bachelorette is probably going to run about a year, maybe a year and a half for you to properly get yourself where you need to be. And there are some prerequisites that you need to have, you know, a, a, a high school diploma in some places is a secondary education that you must be able to have. And then you need to have an associate degree, you know, uh, before you move on to the bachelorette. It, it is required that you should have at least 120 credit hours when we're talking about owning or attaining the bachelorette degree. But we're dealing with theology. And theology in its simplest term is theology proper, the study of God, word. 
uh, it's a Greek word that is broken down in two forms. Theo means God and logic or ology means logos. So it's the study of God's word. What does he says in his word that puts us in the place where we need to be. So that is who I am, at least for this present time. Chancellor, I'm uh, once again, okay. I'm so happy to be here. I'm telling you, let's, let's see what we can do with this thing That's here. Right. And let, let's open up a little bit more. Go ahead. All right. This is great. Okay. So can you just tell us why is this, the study of theology so important um, in Christendom? Because you see, you, you, you get a better understanding. It is important, first and foremost, um, to go a little bit deeper than just biblical studies. Um, it's more in-depth than just doing biblical studies. Biblical studies, yes, in the same essence, is dealing with um, the logistics, dealing with understanding what the Word of God says, as far as the writing, uh, the fundamentals, uh, how it is, is um, departmentalized, whether it's the laws, whether it's the prophets, whether if it's the uh, historical books, uh, whatever it's the epistles, you know, so you deal with the biblical study part from that aspect of it. But when we start talking about theology now, or the study of theology, we understand that we're going way beneath the surface. Mm -hmm. We're understanding the fundament, the heart of God, the mind of God, the purpose, the intention. We understand how things uh, was presented in the Old Testament, but yet still it was steering us to the New Testament on a much deeper level. A lot of times in biblical studies, um, you don't really get the 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 the, the, the you, you, you don't really get not just the foundation, but you don't really get the in-depth knowledge that you need to get. Mm. Uh, theology um, is, is, even though it's encompassing biblical study, it's almost like you becoming a doctor. Let me put wow. it this way. You, you have a general practitioner and then you have an obstetricianist or you have the ophthalmologist, you have a neurologist. And so now you're talking about 85% of every individual go to the same basic area until you start specializing. Specializing means now that you're gearing towards that particular area and field. Same thing with theology. It has to encompass in the Bible. It has to encompass in the biblical text. But at the same time, the context is much deeper. Your, 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 the, 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 the process is much deeper. And so your understanding becomes much deeper. Amen. Wow, this, this is wonderful, man of God. So we want to just look a little bit into the course study that we have. And, and you know, you could talk about some of what we're going to be dealing with um, course wise um, concerning this particular program. OK, just bear with Amen. me one moment. Uh, let me get this rolling. OK. Well, um Chancellor is 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 putting okay. together the that aspect of it. So here's what uh, you will have at the end of this Bachelorette of Arts in Theology. Uh, the goal is to provide the students with the theories, the contents, and also equip them with what they need to be able the messages of the Bible. So it's a threefold thing. First is to allow them, uh, give you the theories as what it says, the content or the context of what it says, and also messages of the Bible. That is the predominant goal that we want to um, be able to equip you with at the end of this particular study. Now, for those of you um, that is taking the bachelorette program in theology, there are also um, career opportunities that comes along with it. It could be um, in semin seminary, uh, pastoring. It could also include church history, uh, church operating, and also um, theology. These are some of the careers that you can venture into after you have attained a Bachelor of Arts in Theology. Now, some of the course outlines that we talk about um, that gives you, it's about a year, year and a half to be able to can uh, Pretty much adequately, about a year and a half, yes. About a year and a half, yes. Adequately for you to be able to re get everything that you need. And one of the courses that we like to do, we like to start off with um, either the, um, 
the foundation of faith, or we'll start off where the Bible starts off, with the Old Testament, and then we'll deal with the New Testament. Well, with the Old Testament, we will not only break it down into different areas that is presented and highlighted, but we will also, there's a lot of hidden nuggets that is in the Old Testament that mm. we'll be able to explore a lot of the foreshadowing. We'll see a lot of symbolism. Uh, we'll see a lot of things that points us to who Jesus is. And you'll probably be so amazed to see that when you come across certain things, you'll be like, wow, I didn't realize that. And that's why God did not allow certain things to take place. And so we'll go in depth when it comes to understanding the Old Testament. And then we'll also, once in that first semester, we'll also highlight the New Testament uh, because we want to make sure that you are well-rounded with not only historical books or the biography of Christ, um, mm. the letters and episcopals, um, the revelatory book in the book of Revelations. We want to make sure that on both sides of the spectrum, both old and new, there is a balance. You know, and then we will impress upon you to go back in and study for yourself. Reinforce. Ne don't ever stop learning. Don't ever stop opening up the word of God. It is almost like I used the analogy before of a medical doctor. I can even put a lawyer into the equation. There are constant time when you've got to constantly go in and constantly get your mind re-stimulated uh, because medicine changes all the time. The difference is now that the word of God does not change. However, different mm. dispensation comes in, different circumstances, situation. But if God's word is the same yesterday, as you continue to read it today, I guarantee that it will pray you for tomorrow. And so part of our goal is to make sure that we are well thoroughly, uh, make sure that you get everything that you need to equip you. Go ahead, Chancellor. Yes. And the great thing about um, our university is that we provide you with the majority, 90 percent of the books that you need. We provide you with those books here at no extra cost. Yes, now, that is a blessing. In Amen. Itself. Amen. And, you know, the, the man of God, he, he touched on a little bit, even with the first semester. One of the books that we deal with is called Foundational Faith. And I yes. really love that book because it has six foundational principles that Amen. every believer must have a firm grip on before you move on to maturity. Hebrews Amen. Chapter, was it six? Six, verse yes. One, Hebrews two, chapter three. six. It yes. has six foundational doctrine. And each believer, every believer, should understand what those six foundation doctrines are before mm -hmm. they look to move on to maturity. And what I've found in the body of Christ is that there's folks that's been in the church for 25, for 30 years, and they're still on the milk of the word and they're not on the meat of the word. And the thing is because when you're on the milk of the word, then you're still in that stage of infancy. Yes, you're still in yes. a state of immaturity. You are, you're not really grounded in your faith. So this is why this book is so important because it's going to help to point out some things for to you. It's going to help you to examine yourself and see, am I still operating as an infant mm -hmm. or am I operating as one that is matured? You understand me? Do I handle myself as one that is matured in the gospel? This also remind me, and I know this book talks about that. I believe it's in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, when Paul himself says he could not deal with the Corinthians as yes. one that was mature in their faith. Oh, uh -huh. because they were still arguing, they were still yes, fighting, yes, they were still quarreling. Yes, one yes. says, I'm with Paul. One says, I'm with Apollos. Wait yes. a minute. He said, well, if there's division amongst you, aren't yes. you still carnal? aren't you still operating as one that is natural and a lot of time we see this taking place in our local body the saints are fighting amongst each other instead of attaining to that place of spiritual maturity so this book is absolutely phenomenal amen and amen. um it's, it's really awesome. So you're going to gain a lot in that first semester. Now, for those of you who may not have your associate degree, don't you worry. Listen, we've got you covered. We've got you covered. Covered. All we needed to do is get online at www.hbiu.org and so that you can register and get prepared 
for stu your studies. Amen. We're here to Amen. work with you to make sure that you attain and reach your goal. Now, um, Professor Hughes also mentioned that you need an high school diploma. Wow. Yes. We have it going on here at HBIU where it's Amen. all Amen. about you. We do have a an accredited high school where you can receive your high school diploma. So while you're doing your studying, your um your your studies in um your your bachelor's in theology or your associate level in theology, you can also be studying at to get your high school diploma. Listen, it's a win-win. Amen. It's a win-win. Win-win. Come on here because we're all about accelerated study, but you're going to get everything you need to achieve your goals. All right. Amen. And as we even look into um, the semester two, it deals with evangelism, spiritual warfare, spiritual harvest. Would you like to talk a little bit about any of those, um, Professor? Yes. All three is very important in the life of the believer. Uh, you, you need to understand that evangelism is very important. Listen, within the Christendom, in fact, um, Jesus, one of the commission that he gave just before he uh, ascended up, he told the disciples to go, he therefore into all the world and baptize and teach and, and everything of that nature. Uh, and so we understand that evangelism is a very important aspect. Each one, reach one, you know, and, and you should be able to can tell um, somebody about the love of Christ, you should be able to can encourage somebody into the coming to the knowledge of who God is and what Jesus has done for each and every one of us. Now, there's a difference between evangelism and having the spirit of an evangelist, you know, mm. but from a theological standpoint, it's important for you to at least have the equipping that you need to be able to can at least uh, I tell someone about Jesus. See, once we start going into evangelism, then you got to touch a little bit on apologetics. You understand? Mm -hmm. Because it flows hand in hand. It was Peter that says that we must be able to give a reasoned defense as to the hope or to what we believe in. You know, and, and you've got to understand that there's so many different uh, religion out there and religious people out there from different religious background, I'm not talking about Christian dumb, but other religion in the world, that they also spread in their sense of small wow. the theology, small theology uh, uh, and philosophies to other people. So we likewise, as part of the body of Christ, also need to be equipped in evangelism. Now, along with evangelism, these two, I'm glad that they incorporate evangelism with spiritual warfare and spiritual harvest. Uh, because if you look in a nutshell, they pretty much run hand in hand. You need to also be equipped to understand spiritual warfare. The Bible says we wrestle out against flesh and blood, That's but right. you got to understand they are spirit that governs some individual that you may encounter. And so you need to be able to know how to navigate through the terrain, how to be able to can stand flat footed, how to be able to can use the word of God. That's why it goes back again to the proper foundation, because That's if right. your foundation is not strong guaranteed the building is going to collapse Come you understand on. because you have some people out there that they are well versed in their philosophies they're well versed in their level of religion that they may be attained to and if you're not equipped if you're not ready if you're not rooted and grounded in the word of god i guarantee you they'll put you to shame and some of these individuals, their spirit is so dominant that even when you know that you know that you know that you know, you better make sure you know again, because they'll find you'll find yourself that they just convince you with something totally different. Yes. And, and so we want you to understand that. Now, the spiritual harvest is also very important. You understand what I'm saying? Because it also deals with soul winning. Ah, I am telling you now, you need to be able to know the word of God, understand the principles of evangelism, understand the functionality and how spiritual warfare plays a role in order for you to be able to can go out there and glean the harvest. That's and and right. this helps for those of you who are in pastoral, who are going to be pastors, who are in ministerial of any sort, you need to be able to know the proper approach 
you understand how you approach people, some of the terminologies that you may use, uh, some of the wordings um, that will help to deflate a situation, let them feel calm, let them feel receptive of you, and you'll be able to can talk to them without overshadowing and overburden them with That's your right. religion, but you need to know how to engage. God, go, go ahead, Chancellor, I'm with you. I'm following wow. your lead tonight. No, 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 no. This, is, this is wonderful. And so just to give, um, for the sake of time, you know, touching just of some of the, the courses that we um, offer here. So you have um, excellent in leadership. leadership, very powerful, very powerful, the life of David, um, you know, and so often we realize many of us, we want public, who doesn't want public arena? Who doesn't <laughs> want to be in, in the spotlight in a sense? Right. But we realized from that study that what David did in the backside of the desert and we mm -hmm. can consider the backside of the desert, the place where he was a no name. No yes. one knew about him. You see, and, and for many of us, the backside of the desert could be where you know, you're the Sunday school teacher. You're not that's on a global sure. arena. Many people don't know about you. You're mm -hmm. the author. You're the person that's cleaning the church. That's your backside of the desert. But if yes, you yes. Over you, God will make you ruler over much because Amen. David was committed to um, the, the charge that was given to him by his father. He yes. was a shepherd boy. He tended to those shepherds in the backside of the desert when yes. no one was around. He protected them. He took care of them. He protected them from the wolves and the bears and all of these other creatures that would have harmed them. You understand? Yes. And that was preparation for its public arena. So in this book, you're going to learn the strategies of how to attain the public arena. Because as we learned in the book of Acts, God never meant for you to be local, but he meant for you to be global. Why Amen. That's it. That? Yes. Yes. Said, yes. Listen, don't leave, um, you know, Jerusalem, but wait for the promise of the father that you will be enjoyed with power and eye. So you will be effective witness, effective witness okay Amen. Amen. making an impact judea samaria the uttermost and the uttermost part of the world part of the world so he yes didn't intend yes for you to yes stay in samaria he didn't intend for you to stay in judea but he no. wanted you to make a global impact so Amen. this is going Amen. to be a book that's going to help you to deal with my your lions and your bears deal yes. with those things that you need to conquer so that you can have public arena my god david just didn't destroy goliath you know it didn't just something that just happened overnight but no. all the time when he was in the backside of the desert protecting his father's property being faithful and committed that was preparation for him to face this giant Amen. my god so this is going Amen. to be a very good book then we have management by objective very good biblical prophecies mm -hmm. the of acts, home mm. marriage, sociology of marriage and family life. Very so important. important. The Pauline epistles, Roman, financial integrity and stewardship. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. Theology of worship. And of the worship. list goes on. Come mm. on, uh, Bishop. Would you like to say something else? I, 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 I want to, before yeah, we I'm go not. any further, just highlight the, the, the excellence in leadership along yes. with what you says, um, you have to look at the progression and understand that you just don't become a leader, like you say, overnight. Mm. God uses the lion first, uh, and then he transitioned from a four-legged beast to another four-legged beast, but this four-legged beast has the ability to not only walk on all fours, but can walk on twos as well. Mm. It's a progression. So by the time he gets to Goliath, he had a custom to see a two-legged statue in front of him. Here's what I want you to understand, the excellence in leadership. I always approach it from this point. You, in order for you to be a good leader, you have to be a great follower. That's because right. it takes twice as much for you to understand within the realms of leadership what to do and what not to do. That way you don't make the same mistake like the person in front of you make. And J David says one thing, he understand humility and he understand order and he understand timing. Wow. You have to wait for your 
turn. Just don't be anxious. Paul said it best, it might be lawful, but doesn't mean that it's expedient. And so we understand that when you talk about proper leadership, you are going to get some real good reinforced teaching training. It's going to be an open forum. I'm telling you, it's going to be awesome because we want you to, to learn. You got to know if you're a visionary or not. Bible talks about that too. You understand whether you're a visionary. So as you go down these particular areas, homiletics, proper uh, studying of the word, proper presentation of the word, homiletics and hermeneutics always goes hand in hand. It's just the art and science of studying the text and it's also the art and science of delivering the text. Listen, everybody delivery is different. I've never seen two pastors that deliver the same way, but all of us must have the fundamental That's basis right. of studying the text, especially mm -hmm. if you're going to be true. If you're going to be extrajudical about it, or if you're going to be an expository teacher, an expository preacher, you've got to be confined to the text. And that is the thing that you'll be able to can grasp while you are here um, for the time that you're at in getting your attaining your bachelorette degree. Now, when you talk about introduction to psychology and the dynamics of Christianity, it also falls. Okay, are you with us still? Okay. Did we you understand um, the breakdown and then you have marriage and family. Listen, that is so important. Yes. Marriage and family is so important uh, because it is the uh, first institution that God has put his seal on between the man and the woman. You know, and we understand that we're in a... <laughs> Ah, uh, boy, I tell you, we're in a time now where, you know, it, it used to be male and female and you got to be so sensitive now um, yeah, because yeah. now it's male and female and then there is, you know. But when you stand on God's word, he clearly defines marriage should be between a man and a woman. <laughs> then you talk about introduction of management, uh, different management. Listen, time management, money management family management, yes. even studying the word of God. You, you need to be able to can manage these things because life in general is about what? Balance. you That's got right. to be able to have a balance. Come on ahead, Chancellor. I, right. I, I see you want to keep it oh, going. No, 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 no. I, I am good. Amen. And um, just, you know, you look at the last semester, it deals with justification by faith, leadership, spiritual formation, that's really, really good. And one of the things with our um, university, at the end of each semester, the, the students are required to put a, um, a, a what, what is this? I can't remember the name of it now. Um, oh, glory to God. I don't want to say a manuscript, but at the end of the semester, you're pretty much doing essays right? And the word won't come to me right now that we, we normally use the terminology, but you will have to put um, like your essays together and you'll turn them into your professor to be graded. This is how we're going to grade you, okay? Um, and just to ensure that you are learning, you're gaining the knowledge, you're gaining the skills, you will also be um, required to do weekly classes, very important to do weekly classes because this is the only way that you're going to grow is by those interaction. So this is pretty much um, the basics of our bachelor's program. It might seem like a lot, but you know what? Too much is given. Much is required. Amen. Any last thoughts there, um, Dr. Hughes? Uh oh, did I lose the man of God? Yes, I would oh. like to just uh, remind our students that the uh, certificate program is a 10 weeks program. Um, but again, the bachelorette program is a year and a half. So when you signed up, uh, please make sure that you registered accordingly. And um, I would say this I'm looking forward to. Um, and meet each and every one of you who is coming along and is going to participate in the programs that we have, you know, and, and it's going to be fun and, and we're going to enjoy this journey together. I want you to remember, remember that we're governed by the text that says, how can two walk together unless they be agreed? How yes. can two walk together 
unless they agree. I want to close with this. Remember something that one of the things that God uh, allow us the opportunity to do is to get to know him. And um, we can get to know him deeper by the time that you spent in his word. Now you already understand that there is a grading system. You yes. know, um, everybody know F doesn't mean that you're doing fine. <laughs> and, and, and D certainly don't mean that, you know what, uh, I, I, I'm, I'm, I did it. You, you know, right. it, it, it says F means fail. And D <laughs> says fairly good. You know, C is good. B is very good. And A is excellent. You know, and I believe that the Bible said that we're supposed to be the head and not the tail. So let's strive our very best to be able to uh, attain the grade that will best represent who and where we are. So come on ahead and make sure that you're here timely. Do your work, do your assignment, and I pray God blessing upon you. Chancellor, thank you so much. It's in your hands. Okay. Thank you so much, Professor Hughes. Amen. And we're just truly grateful for this time. So again, for those of you that are interested in our bachelor's program, our associate or even bachelor's program, please visit us at www hbiu.org. Amen. Praise God. And go to enrollment and just enrolled with us. Um, if you're looking for the master's course as well, we do offer the master's in theology as well as the doctorate in theology. So you can go all the way with us. You don't have to stop at one level. Remember, listen, education is the key. Again, my people perish for a lack of knowledge, right? Not because knowledge is far from us, but many don't want to do what it takes to attain the knowledge that they need. Thank you all again for joining us at HBIU TV, where it is all about you. God bless you all and have an amazing evening.